guys so we are still in week one today is day three of uh the tomb raider workout from magnus lidback uh so yeah it's 8 34 in the evening right now just getting ready to head on over to the gym you know me i'm a late night owl type of workout girl that's just me it's how i've always been ever since high school yeah so getting ready to head out and get that in tomorrow is going to be a recovery day so kind of looking forward to that a little bit just a tad bit so compared to the first time that I had tried this workout I have to say that I'm not as sore and I think that's just obviously comes down to like it wasn't that long in between uh, not working out and so I just I think that my body is like it just remembered a little bit of the conditioning which is good I'm not complaining so, but I am still sore. Like I'm definitely feeling it. So don't, don't get it twisted. It is still a hard workout. Um, a part of me almost kind of misses creating my own workouts because that is something that I do love to do is sit down, construct a good workout program and just execute it and then see like, see how I feel at the end of that. And if I feel good, it's like, man, I hit it on the mark, like I did a good one, I did myself a solid, but yeah, I don't know, it's just, for some reason, I just, I don't know, getting back into working out, I just really haven't felt like creating the workouts for myself, I just felt like following a program, and like I said, I have been following Magnus's program for quite some time, and it just, I really wanted to try this workout. The thing is, is that it's the same exercises every three days so the exercises as far as i can tell right now they don't change they're the same exercises for four weeks i'm the type of person who likes variety i get bored really easily so but we'll see so far i haven't gotten bored i have actually really liked doing it and i think the one thing that i do like about this too is that i can see how much it progress and push my limits so that is one thing that i do like about workouts that are kind of the same sequence every few days so we will see how that goes getting ready to go gonna make my pre-workout shake i will bring you guys along show you what i use show you how i make it you guys are literally in my cup cabinet right now because i don't have my tripod on me right now i'm using the corksicle um container sports canteen i don't recommend this because I mean, it doesn't smell like it right now, but oftentimes it starts to smell like mildew and I cannot get it out. Um, I mean, I can obviously because it doesn't smell like that right now, but it just really has this funky smell to it that I don't appreciate. So if you have a canteen that you absolutely love and can recommend, let me know in the comments. Basically, I just fill it up with fresh water just because I want to know my portions and I don't fill it up all the way because I do add ice and I don't want it overflowing. But to make it easy to mix everything up, I put it in a cup because I need a bigger opening. So the protein powder that I use is from First Form. It's this Vegan Pro Pow Power Pro, Vegan Power Pro. Oh, I can't talk today. Vegan Power Power. <laughs> protein powder that I use is the Vegan Power Pro, the vanilla cream. You guys, this tastes absolutely amazing. I can drink this straight. It is that delicious. It's not gritty. It's um, actually, it blends perfectly. So I just, I hate a real gritty protein powder and I hate protein powders that you have to actually blend it in a smoothie for it to taste good. I'm not about that life. Anyway, so I do about half a scoop and it has a recommendation on here for women. So I think men is one full scoop for pre-workout and women are a half a scoop. So then I use this Zule mixer, electric mixer, and get that all mixed up in there. Or I would use a fork and it would be extremely clumpy, like anything that I mix would be clumpy. Then I use ignition in there. I use a quarter scoop, if that's a recommendation for the women. And it's just like, a, it helps with like glyco glycogen replacement and all of that for muscle recovery time. So 
just about a quarter scoop of that, mix it back up. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is put some ice inside that smelly canteen, <laughs> the non-smelly smelly canteen, um, and then pour that in there. So let me do that really quick. <laughs> There's my dogs when I need them, they love ice cubes. So yeah, so then I just pour that bad boy in there. See, I'm the type of person who likes to bring, see, yeah, that's almost perfect. I'm the type of person who likes to bring two uh, things to drink. So I like to bring a just a regular bottle of water um, along with my pre-workout because this I suck down in a matter of seconds because it's so good that I need something else to drink it. I don't really like the water at the gym. They do have a like a filtration system, but it's it comes out lukewarm and I like cold water. That's just how I've always been. So that is my pre-workout. I have been using these, I would say for the past couple of months, even though I just got started working out, every now and then I try to still hit my protein macros and this is one way that I do it, is taking the Vegan Power Pro and various other protein powders that I have. But this is my main one and I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, let me uh, get my dogs in and give them those ice cubes and I'm going to the gym. Um, we go to the nail garden in Brea. Um, I'm planning on trying to go super festive and possibly go like black. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so I just left the gym. It was day four of week one. And I have to say, even though it's only day four, I am feeling so much stronger. Like it is such a good feeling. So the way this work, this program works is every three days it recycles and you do the same workouts every three days. So I'm, this is my second day. So technically, if you want to think of it as the second time I'm doing, I'm doing day one. And the, the first day I started doing this, I felt, I would say just weak and out of breath and yeah among many other things i was just burning out way too fast this time around i feel like i just breezed through it was hard don't get me wrong like this workout was still difficult but i feel like i breezed through it a lot better i was you know a lot stronger through my workouts i wasn't pausing as much which is awesome so i think i'm going to end this video here um and i will focus on week two which is in two days from now <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, just gonna end that here. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos from me, please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications for when I do upload new videos. Thanks so much, you guys, for watching. I will see you next time. Peace.